Hey there, and welcome back to the Anywhere YouTube channel. I'm Umar Khan, and today I wanted to go over something that's a bit more unique than the normal stuff that goes on in the channel. So during the cryptocurrency boom, I know a lot of people bought Anywhere Auroras uh, because buying a whole system was a lot cheaper than buying a graphics card off the shelf. So a lot of people have Anywhere Auroras and uh, they're probably thinking, man, you know, I'm at the limit of this thing, right? But that's not true. So you can always upgrade your Alienware Aurora and you can even do it yourself. There's a lot of things in it that make it a very DIY capable um, um, PC. And one of the things that I'm gonna do is, is I'm gonna use the system that I've been using for my streams, for the D&D stream, for all the videos that we make, we pretty much use one Aurora. We use it for all the production that happens here in the studio. And this system had a 2080 but it wasn't liquid cool. I had got, you know, a couple of 2080s and I put it in there. One of the things that I thought of was maybe I should do a liquid cooled GPU on here. And the thing is the housing for the Aurora for where you can put in the radiator, it fits perfectly for the EVGA Acetec liquid cooled pump. And this goes into a 2080. And I'm going to show you guys how to actually install a liquid cooled graphics card into your system, how to take apart the Aurora to do that, put it back together, and also the performance difference between the two. The only tool you're going to need here, by the way, is a Phillips head screwdriver to remove two screws on the top panel, one screw on each side. First thing you're going to want to do is obviously unplug everything from the system and get it onto an elevated ESD compliant flat surface. Unlock the side panels of the Alien Aurora and then swing out the power supply bracket to access the innards of the system. Now, once you've unscrewed the two screws on the top panel, Remove the cabling attachment to the left side panel and push down on the finger press indents at the top to remove this panel. Before you remove the top entirely, unplug the cabling on the side. Now remove the top panel and you'll find an enclosure where the card's radiator is going to sit. Let's open up the liquid cooled EVGA NVIDIA 2080 GPU which is cooled by Acetec's all-in-one cooling solution. Acetec is the same brand you'll find as our solution for our CPUs as well across the Alien Aurora and the Alienware Area 51. The package comes with the EVGA NVIDIA 2080 graphics card with the all-in-one liquid cool solution, a DVI HDMI converter cable, screws, and cable management accessories. All right, let's take out the non-liquid cooled 2080 from our streaming unit, unplug the power connector from the card, Simply open the blue bracket docking the GPU and remove it from the motherboard. Now we need to remove the fan from the top to place it in the radiator. Pull the four rubber tabs on the fan corners to loosen them. Then remove these two screws to let the fans descend from the enclosure. Don't forget to unplug the fan power from the motherboard. Now, install the liquid-cooled NVIDIA GeForce 2080 graphics card into the Aurora. Lock it into the PCIe slot and make sure it aligns in the bracket. Now, watch how easily this radiator just slides in. I'm going to be honest, I thought this was going to be pretty difficult even to film, but it was super easy. Almost as if it was designed for such a solution. Align the screw holes on the top and use the provided washers and screws. Screw in one corner and then the corner on the opposite side. Trust me, it makes it easier to keep the screw holes aligned. Back on the inside of the system, screw back in the bracket that held the fan previously put in place. Plug in the power connector into your new liquid cooled NVIDIA GeForce RTX 2080. Now we're gonna need to get that top panel back on. First, you need to get your cabling from the side panel put back together. Now, just pop that top back down and secure the two screws on the back ends of the top panel sides. Swing that PSU bracket closed and pop those side panels for the Aurora back on and you're done. You now have upgraded to a liquid cooled GPU with the Acetec all-in-one solution. Now let's take a look at the performance for a non-liquid cooled 2080 versus a liquid cooled 2080. We're going to be using Firestrike as well as the Division 2. While I don't have a means to measure sound right now, I will tell you that my Aurora is infinitely quieter when I render videos, as well as some of the test rooms I did prior to launching this video. So as you see, that's how easy it was to get the liquid cool pump in there. It slid right in, 
was able to screw it in together. And then I was able to just boot up the system and go straight for it, right? Because of the NVIDIA graphics uh, drivers are pretty much unified now. Real simple setup. You know, I, you can see the graphics difference that I got on there between my scores in Fire Strike and also Division 2. And another thing that I want to do, because we thought that this was so cool, Assetek uh, and EVGA have hooked this up with the potential for a giveaway. So we're doing a giveaway for that card that you saw in this video, we're doing a giveaway. So we're gonna have a Gleam link in the video description. Go ahead and click on there and you can be part of that entry to win one. We'll send you out your own liquid cooled EVGA NVIDIA GeForce 2080. So many words to remember, liquid cooled. All right guys, thanks for watching. I'm Umar Khan. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter and don't forget to like and subscribe to the Alienware YouTube channel. And when that little bell shows up, I want you to Ding it, ding that little bell. Talk to y'all later. Bye.